out shadowed on got on the PlayStation and knocked the damn Bosey fan that I got for it all. So that's why my PlayStation overheated on me. So that's fine. We'll get into it. <clears throat> Show y'all how we set this up. And feel free to ask questions. You know, always feel free to ask questions. I'm here to help you. Be great. Ugh. <clears throat> All right. So obviously, third string quarterback really don't matter. Um, the way I do it is for this year is power back first. Um, so what I do is I use Booker as my second string, and then if I want to use Rashard, I put Rashard in as fullback and back him up with Carrier like that. Um, for wide receivers, guys, like I've experimented with probably every possible combination <laughs> this year. Y'all seen me use Zay Jones, y'all seen me use Edwards, y'all seen me use Tyrell, y'all seen me use Aguilar, and ultimately, y'all know what y'all want. Okay, I'm going to show you why I don't use Aguilar anymore as much. Like, I still use him, but <laughs> I'm going to show you why we don't. Uh, this right here is a negative trait, drops open passes, and it was happening a lot on the wide receiver out, like the quick pass plays where he had to run, you know, a little route. I mean, he would give the animation catches, but kept dropping the ball when I needed him to catch it. So I try not to start guys that have negative traits, okay? I mean, you can utilize them, but don't overuse them, okay? So he has negative traits. He doesn't. He doesn't drop open open passes. All he all he can do is really just rack catch, but that's fine. You can just come over here and check to him. See, he doesn't have that trait, so he's starter material. He has all the catch traits that you want. Brace for all hits, sideline catches, fights for extra yards. That that's what you want in your number one receiver. See, I want to use this guy. He has good traits, but he has this, and that kind of makes me like, eh. <laughs> You know, so we can't use him. There's another good good guy right here. This is why I used him as a starter. He can do rack. He can do aggressive. He doesn't drop passes. He fights for extra yards, makes sideline kicks. So you need that. You just kind of go through all of them and see who has what. See, look, Renfro has all of them. He's just not fast. You know, so you always go to your hidden traits first. See what they got. It's aggressive and rack walls. You just can you can actually come in here and look at your um, your lower rated receivers too. So in case you want to slot someone in. Like I know Keelan Doss has all like all this shit that I want. <laughs> he just his rating just sucks. If he was rated higher, I would definitely use him. He's uh, 6'3", 215. He's definitely got the size for what I want, but his rating is what really hurts him. He doesn't have awareness. Change of direction is sloppy. Catches a little bleh. Really just a red zone target, really. Kind of look at him, see what he has. Hmm. But really, that's all you're just doing is just going through and look at all of them. Jason Witten has all the all the stuff that you want. As long as they don't have this drop open passes, you can utilize them. You see, see how my running back Theo doesn't drop open passes. It's the sideline catches, fights for extra yards, and he racks. 
same with him. He fights for extra yards. High motor possession and rack. See, this is why I don't use him a lot. I use him, but I don't, like, over-utilize him. Because he doesn't have, like, all the, uh, all the catch animations. See, this is got Richard drops open passes. You really don't want to deal with that, you know? But he does fight for extra yards. Just kind of look at all of them. He doesn't really have any catch animations. Just kind of go through all of them. So basically, my best guy out the backfield is going to be Theo Riddick. He can rack. But it's just something to look at. So what we're going to do is this is why, like I said, I use Williams and Rugs. You go speed first, go to number two. Okay, that's the main thing that y'all want to make sure. As long as you have your speed first, he will be your ISO receiver, especially in bunch formations and stuff, and that's where you really want him. Put your better route runners in all the bunch bunch sides. Um as far as number three, um, like I said, I, I use Waller, so I have to go to my tight end first and put him as number two so I can do this. Put Waller right there at number three. Go Zay number four. Renfro number five. Number six really doesn't matter. Probably put Keelan Dawson there. Alright, so tight ends. Let's start Moreau. Put Carrier right there. Only thing I'm doing right here is swapping the right guard and right tackle. Now, in this defense that I run, the right end is sometimes in the 4 3 is going to be the Leo. So, I need to set it up like that. So we put Crosby as our Leo in our 4-3 defense. Backed up by Dick Beasley. And then our left end. We have Furl. Massive. And McKinley. right there. Defensive tackle, you want your nose tackle number one. Number two needs to be your inside pass rusher. Just like that. And then go ahead and put it in there. Alright. Your outside linebackers, you're you're looking for like if you're gonna be running like a three four or a four three your edge guys have to have these two moves. Like if they have the bull rush or anything else that's that's a positive but you want to make sure your outside linebackers especially if you're you're doing like any any like double leos or double sams they need to have the swim move and the spin move it's gonna help against outside runs it's gonna give them a block shed um, animation so definitely this is something that you want he has a bunch of key traits he has the strip ball trait um, he is a coverage linebacker but a coverage linebacker with these two moves is, is very, very clutch, okay? So make sure that we do have that. Um, and, the, and we're going to put him as the left outside. He's going to be the Sam. Um, now our middle, our Mike, we just want someone fast, okay? Someone fast, if you cover. Same thing with our wheel. He needs to be fast and covered in a 3-4. The will is not really going to be mainly for block shedding. No, it would help, but you just want someone fast. Like I know he doesn't have like all the traits, but you just want a coverage linebacker for your will linebacker. Okay. You need to back him up with your other will. So put 
Millen right there. Followed by put him there. All right, so the last linebacker that's going to be over here, we're probably going to roll with Lilton. And over here, we need to make sure we have Kyle Wilbur because he has the swim move and the spin move. And he has a Sam. He's a big linebacker. He's not going to be playing coverage. He's just going to be rushing the passer. And, you know, in regs, you're probably not going to get to your third string. So it's not really going to matter too much. But it should look like that. Cornerbacks, I know I've been using Arnett as my number one. Um, that way he matches up on the Sam side. Um, you want to make sure your best cornerback is your number two. They usually match up with the opponent's team number one receiver. Number three, we use our hybrid corner safety. And then we take him off the field like that. Free safety, we start our hybrid corner safety. Back up. Abram for special teams and then the last spot we take our speed corner so in our nickel and dime packages Isaiah Johnson will be playing safety for us that, that'll handle our speed issue that we've been having um, strong safety uh, just use our net he'll be our other corner on the other side and then a Mick Robertson not going to matter. Kick return. We use Aguilar here. And then we get JJ to block for us. Punt return. Put my speed guy. Kick off start. Leave it as is. Long snapper. Put your center in. Third down running back. We want to use Riddick as our number one. What do you mean X and Z? This dude, what are you talking about? They they, they not talking about something else? Probably just a superstar abilities. I don't know. Rush left end. We're gonna keep him there, and our right end is gonna be Beasley. Our backup rush left end will be Tack McKinley. Right end will keep it as Furl. Start Farrell and Chris Smith. And want to roll with. I'll put Crosby right there. Sub linebackers, we got Abram, Levitt, Heath, slot corner, so we leave as is, so we are set. Yeah, I figure you always joking around, my dude. I have to always double double check myself. Um, I'm going to kind of get into it with, again, like I said, I'm just using the stock book. I'm just setting the audibles. Um, I do run with a lot of two tight ends when I come out like in my single back or whatever and my uh, check two plays are the single back two tight end and one running back so I need to look and get my check down offense in place to plays that I'm actually going to utilize that are going to come in clutch just kind of think about some plays Like mesh. Hmm. I don't want to be too pass. I don't necessarily need that play, so I'll be all right. One, two, two. Dupes close. Single back. We do have spacing here. 
possible bench. My my roll with bench because that's gonna be a nice cover two here. But we're gonna look. We got smash over here, so I don't necessarily need bench. P8 boot, we're good there. I always just want to go back and just double check. This really just do closely. It's just four formations that we had to work with. Um, probably gonna have to do some labbing. Um, debating on that spacing switch for bench. Don't know. I don't know. Or PA boot slide. That would work with the counter. So I'll take that off and then just run PA boot slide. I need to set it up more. Just like that. Alright. Should be good. I wish you could save your roster on this game, Roland. <laughs> Annoying after go. I spend more time setting my roster up before I play than anything else. All right, before we got rudely disconnected by my PlayStation wanting to overheat for no damn reason because my cat decided he wanted to play around. Man, I'm taking losses because of that shit. To nobody's. It's all's well, man. I fixed it. Let's get into the scheme, guys. I'm always improving, you know. as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at Raven T Bank Stadium. There's a scene a short time ago the Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Fair catch, you know, turn on This one is the fair catch. A signal four and take it. Kind of a... Uh... Oh my god. They'll start with the option. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Complete pass leads to second and ten from the twenty-five. Ooh, no, he didn't. Car with a play fake to Jacobs. And oh, look you get that animation when you hold R one. And he gets this one just shy of the forty down at the thirty-nine. You hold R one before you catch it, and you catch every animation. He's just going to blitz, spam. So, uh, 
I have to get out of this. Throwing now his car. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Again, they'll throw with car. Hold R1 while you hold square and get that animation. Down with the first down at the Ravens 38 yard line. 23 yards the pick up Beautiful sideline catch. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action. Catching them audible in too much, bro. Don't audible like that against me, bro. I will quick hike you in the midst of it. Alright, you showed who your user is. Look at that. Hold R1 while you catch it. Good hit. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Good fucking shit. Jackson cannot get away and he'll go down. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. They go play action with Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he's taken down inside the 30. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And taking it to the 15 yard line. Keep running with him. Down. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Play action. It's Jackson. Oh, good shit. White. 
looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And that'll bring up second down. Play action. Now Jackson escaping the pressure. All right, Timmy. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it. Well, I get what he was trying to do. Well, that's that full three under right, though. And trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Gonna be looking to make Bro, this a no. advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. And then get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. And he'll look downfield for <laughs> oh, 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 man, I had him. Took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. So the failure to connect on second down that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. All right, I'm gonna try the PA boot. Play action. Now it's Carr. They'll roll him out right. <laughs> Look at my roll, man. <laughs> near the 30 before he's taken down. His first catch, and it's a pretty I see you, Moreau. Conversion on third down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for first down. He works his way forward. The key thing is. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Card out of throw. Throw right side complete to Williams. Ooh. Oh! Got him! Got him! That was a nasty little spin move. Get in now, boy. Into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Bro, this guy can't be serious, right? Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Might get one of these. Returning it just as Hill. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Hmm. This guy really he's he's doing too much. I have a The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw Yeah, there log it up. No wildcat over here, bro. Mm -mm. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. Boxed up. He will be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Nice Can't run that wildcat on me, bro. And it likely forces a punt situation. Doing the most. We just play buzz match. No move to get the offense off the field. Single contain. Fourth and five. They'll indeed go for it. Oh! Over the middle. Fucking tight end pass ability, bro. Fuck! We had that. A big pickup there. 20 yards as they convert on fourth. Rush the tight end. Take that tight end away so he don't have an ability. That's the only reason he's doing that. Oh, he did. Did he just come out and single back? Reminder that when half 
halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Them hits. It's Andrews. The reception good for seven. It's third down. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. Get hit, get hit. Up the first before he's taken down at the 29. An effective seven yard third down conversion. I'm worried about it, bro. You're not, you're not passing deep on me. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Back him up. Now flags come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Jackson. And a tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I think he got that, yes. Now the Ravens are going to use two right now. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Jackson on first down, flushed out right, and his throw is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. On third and one, Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown. Shouldn't get out. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens cut into that lead. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour. It's crazy to give Lamar Jackson that ability to throw to his tight ends, but... in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room. Derek Carr. Start over. They got it here. They did indeed a lot of football. Passing to Darren Waller. And he don't have it. No way. What's up with that? It's good, and that cuts it to nine at sixteen seven. A one play touchdown would be clutch here. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Takes it at the seven. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return.
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. This is caught inside the 15. Oh, I got the timeout off. <laughs> They'll call the timeout. Bitches. Bombed on your ass. Second left in the half. On is the field goal unit. Should have got the touchdown, but we'll take it. Carlson able to put this one through. Points are points. will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching. Surprised he didn't notice anything. <laughs> Why I called a timeout. We welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Fielded right around the eight. And he's able to get it across the 20. It do scary, bro. Like scary Terry. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the time. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. People were focused on the Get trenches. The there field. was good protection there. Excellent protection. What the fuck? So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters. I can't believe I'm going to click off next time. Get lower to those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Seven yards to pick up there. Throwing again on second down. Jackson flushed to his right. And he's going to drop this off to his worry about it. I'm just going to take that tight end away from him. Five now at the 24. Seven yards there at a first down. Jackson rolling to his right. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Six yards on the pickup. And that'll make this a second down. Jackson on the game. Oh, what is this? Tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Jackson looking to throw on third. Ooh, good hit. Here that's complete. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. He gets it to Brown, complete. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Eight clock, buddy. You're doing me a favor. Here's Jackson to throw. They'll buy some time right. No fumble. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have cut it to within a score. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Tucker with the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. Well, it's only a one-score game. Third quarter, mind you. But they're going to go for the onside kick right here. And the hands team Ooh, thank team you. Secure. Thank you, Williams. Thank you. But starting the third quarter, thank you. Onside kick. What'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that this dude just literally just staying in this shit the whole game. Happen. I'm gonna run fucking steal toss on him. To try and steal some points and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. Justin Ellis hit on the stop. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean Run by that quick is, toss. possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. 
He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Queen bringing him down. On second down now. It's Jacobs. Damn, I had to block. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside. And he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the Good catch. Right you take your points. Don't force anything. It's the take the your points. The kick by Carlson is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position. Yeah, almost. Okay, being able to hold them to this a dude's goal, scary, bro. So they do have a chance to come back and win this game. No, don't talk about no chance to come back and win this game. Fuck out of here. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The first down screen pass, good for five. On second down, a run for Dobbins. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll go out of this bounds. This dude is so scary, right bro. <laughs> he'll get 10 there all. Zone, like, bro, like, fuck out of here with this shit. Downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. I'm gonna send him just to, to occupy a block. To throw again on second down. Jackson, he'll try and set up the screen. It's nice. Complete. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of seven on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Andrews. And this effort won't do it. He needed to get to the 45. He's a yard or two short. Fourth down. Here's Jackson. Bro! Good fucking shit! Way to fucking play that off! Clutch, Farrell. Clutch. In excellent field position. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. Good. That down the field blocking. That's what I'm talking about. Second and a foot or so. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one it was run with great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move. Mm, Carol, we in we in where we want to be. We where we want to be. Keep playing man coverage over there. He don't forgot. He don't forgot. He don't forgot. He done Jenkins. forgot. Let this go deep. This is he forgot. You can't press field. that man. And he is in. Get out of that 4-6 defense, bro. It's just trash. You're limited on what you can do with that shit. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. 
Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taken from about the 12. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Hmm. It rains, it pours. Now you playing what I want him to play. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary <laughs> football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. To throw is Jackson. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? How? That was a good play! Fuck out of here, bro. Now, here's Jackson off the play fake, throwing the out route incomplete. Stupid ability, he's just gonna spam to him. Not before getting it inside the 35. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Good way. It's incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Second and ten. That's what I'm talking about. And the Raiders have got him. Tanner Muse. Quarter third. Third quarter. Down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Look like that. Quarter picks it off. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Lamarcus Joyner with a pick, and this one will be returned to right around the 38 yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Now, the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. As a Free sky. No, no need to go deep. He's playing sky the over the top That's shades. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Go spacing. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds. I have a feeling he's going to leave this wide open. He comes out in that cover six. We're going to blow that seam wide the fuck open. Car going to throw here. He'll let this go deep. For That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to have this in a great spot way down in Baltimore territory. A big pickup there. And without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Into the red zone. It's Carr. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone. <laughs> for touchdown. Derek Waller just peeps out a pancake Waller. He should have flagged his ass. <laughs> Get off the field, bro. <laughs> Should have known better to come at me with that shitty ass four six defense, bro. My offense kills shit like that. He wasn't ready. Why would y'all match me up with that bomb, bro? Like, match me up with somebody. Shit. Stop giving these fucking bottom feeders, bro. People relying on fucking abilities and shit. Like, come on, man. Give me somebody that's good.
I don't like playing people to the trash, bro. It's just boring. I like a challenge. What's up, Drew? Trying to get my rank back, man. Fucking took that four month break. Have to grind. The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans hit him ball first, bro. Fuck. The Las Vegas Raiders. I feel like the game hates me when I get the ball first. Titans kicker Steven Gaskowski ready to do the honor. And we are uh uh, no sir, no free hits. I was in the top 100 though. I was like rank 60 something, bro. <laughs> and then I just took a break because, you know, everybody takes a break. You get tired of the game here and there. I didn't think that I would drop to like 2,000 something, 20. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Alright, his safeties are out wide. Could be. Could be cover six. He's got a quarters on, on the right, and he's got a cover two concept on the left. So we really don't want to run on this, but I ain't really got a choice right now. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And they're able to get this one. Let's see if I was right. Cover four, show two. Ah, see, he got, he got those. Those show coverages. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, if he's going to do that. He's only rushing four. You're going to play cover four. You better be ready to defend this guy. Ain't worried about it. So that'll back him up five. Now they need 15 yards in this cover series three. after the delay of game. First and 15. Now Carr. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Catch a minute. Catch a minute. Catch a minute. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Really shouldn't spam it. I really shouldn't. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr. Complete. And he'll get it out a you catch him in a bad defense, you make a modable out, right? And this is where we burn him over the top. Burn him over the top, bro. Call that shit. You bait him with the underneath. Force him to audible to a hard flat. Look at there. Played a hard flat defense. Under under the neat shade. To get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Should have just ran that. And the Titan defense steps that was wide open for the run. If we had a dollar for every time we Wrong read. That's fine. Gotta get this ball back. So he's got Derrick Henry. I think we all know this. So our focus is to kind of slow Henry down. We're going to start with our 4-3 under. And then just kind of transpose it as needed. So we're going to bring the safety down in the box to help. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 21. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. I'm gonna have to transpose. Probably gonna go three four. That one good for thirty three and a first. Nothing too fancy there. A simple toss left, but for whatever reason the defense they didn't seem ready for it. Let me continue on with your thought right there because Ain't about to be ready or not. It's just getting in there and making something happen. We'll stop him. He eats clock, you know that's good. Really comes down to 
It's really important is my safety that I use her. So I got to be smart on which gap that I need. I need to be shooting that outside gap. I need that's the gap I need to be shooting instead of that inside because I go through the inside. The outside third is going to get blocked by the receiver and the seam flat is going to get blocked by the tight end or the pullback. So I need to take those blocks on as the safety to free up that seam flat to get in. Probably play it like so this. Big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Derrick Henry. Here we go. Two man to the ball. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I'll play that three cloud. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the play it with white, to two man to the ball. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looks like a like cloud guys. flat over there. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the third. And why he didn't play the cloud. I'm going to have to put him in a hard. There, and it's a first down. Throw is Tannehill. Be on that. It's to Evans, the running back. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Tannehill getting this complete oh to Smith. We're on it. They'll wind up getting 10 back. Play that three cloud. Can only play the hard flat on the fullback side. Charles in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching right, never mind. And if they're able to continue He's going to wide trips. Going, I he might be able to send his cover team blitz here. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. They'll try to run that man shot the long game. gap. Take the low shots, go for the legs. Inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Mike simply went after the wrong right block. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, back because to on that only. last big practice beforehand, you go through you the buzz, script, Mike. You go through your play call, and you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. They keep it with Henry on first down. Open legs. Can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. So he's probably going to score right here. I can't. I don't know if I got it. I'm going to blitz both corners. Couldn't use it just fast enough. And the Titans are just an extra point away from moving out in front. All drives that result in points hurt a defense. But when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. They'll try and run it Damn. in with Henry. And he'll get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. Fasten your seatbelts, fellas. I can I can play you um, Justin. He'll send this one away. <sighs> it's really just managing this clock. It's been playing a lot of cover four show too. So I can actually hit this. But I gotta throw it quick. Right there. Ah! Oh! Should have lobbed it. Not gonna have that too many. Not gonna spam either. Throwing on first down is Carr. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. 8 6 the score after one. All right, Carr, come on, buddy. Don't fuck up now. Throw that dot. Gonna come out and cover four, show two. We got it. That out route kills that now shit. Never mind. We're running the wall. Car 
are going to give it to Jacobs. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. On third down, here comes Look at Jim. them lanes. Come on, I know damn well I had the first down. EA, go fuck yourself. It's a seven yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. They go with Jacobs. There you go. Do not play that dime defense against fucking 21 personnel. Hey, Xavier. Oh, 19 game streak. Oh, good shit. It certainly worked, but that was a gutsy call to go for it on fourth and short. Yeah, not sure I would have made that call. But we got this. A ton of credit for deciding to go for it and not only doing it, but doing it in fine fashion. It takes me back right to the summer. middle every time. He didn't defend it last time. We'll keep running it. Every time we just got to stop Henry. Just stop Henry and we good. Goodbye. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Khalif Raymond now. The lane opens here. Good hit. Past the 30. No, not really. I mean, I'm just kind of switched it up just a little bit, just a tad. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big. Just to slow Henry down, man. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, if I don't stop Henry, he's going to keep running. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. Now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. There we go. Two men for the ball. Tackled down after a gain of three, leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes it gets that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. Two so men to the ball, just tackle him. And holding him to a short game. I remember watching it's not Derek working Henry against zone. Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to do oh, the near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 36. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. That's oh, got here. Put a hard flat over there, man. Damn. In the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. This game not quite as good. So I got to play a cover three cloud on this guy. I have to. There's no ifs, ands, or buts on it. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now you're going to come out and spread. I'm full of tricks. Let's go play this three cloud. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Two man to the ball. Two man to the ball. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. I could blitz. He's going to keep doing it, so. The last run got six, now second and four. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. Yes, sir. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. 
Two men into the ball. Two men into the ball. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. And we were down on the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. I mean, you get him out of pads. I just got to get a stop, bro. Fuck. He is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring down. Play the hard flat from a buzz. That way I can defend that possible curl route and then chase. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Two men to the ball, two men to the ball. There we go. Free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Hard flag on it. And he'll get blown up behind the line of Stay in this place. Now Tennessee Play hard. Will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Stay with it. So now Tannehill leading his crew to the line to go for two. Here's Tannehill. This will be good shit. And he is going to lose yardage here. Well, split the Can't use strong the close against me, bro. I invented that shit. Got the two point conversion the first time. I know about there. the flat route read. Come on, man. Because the first time you go after your first score, that on that. Like a gamble. Take that away. That's your primary read. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. Because as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference and you're right on schedule at 14 points. I catch this guy. I need to score here because he gets the ball back. I catch this guy. But we do know there's Come on, I caught that. They may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. There's two ways I can do this. Take the ladder here. Go with the animation. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. The final shot here before half for Carr. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that Under pressure bullshit. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, so we're going to play the buzz. Shade underneath. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an Move the mid-third, put up. Put a man coverage on that tight end. And, he'll be out of bounds and then kind of double him with that hook. So we have the two man with the ball. Mindset. Ah, oh, this guy. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second Let's take that block. There you go. Because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Sometimes you just got to come through and take that block. Are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this? All right, same thing, man. We're going to come out and cover three cloud. You probably prepared for maybe some change ups you might expect, but overall. You like what your game plan showing you. From the 30 on second down, Tannehill. We'll go tackle him. Side, Henry's got it. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just as first yeah, that's all we can do right now. And kind of just 
effective in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Two man to the ball. Come on. Try to be heavy emphasis on two man to the ball. Heavy emphasis. Or else you get that bullshit that happens. Man, this game's gonna suck. Jenny scores on the long run and then punches in the two point conversion for good measure. I can't tackle him for a loss unless I get two men to the ball. And the way he's playing, it's like it's gonna be hard because he's gonna get two yards at least. It's not gonna be easy to get out of the zone. Fucking take these superstar abilities out of the game. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Car now on first down. Pressure comes, and the Titans Picks able to bring him open. down. Credit the sack there to Harold Landry. After the sack on first down, Carr and Waller taking it in over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Carr going to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. To throw, it's Carr. Hold R1. Quickly here, and that's complete. Hold R1 during and the catch. One, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15 Back to X. Line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And he'll find Moreau here. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Dinkin' Don, Dinkin' Don, Dinkin' Don, Dinkin' Don. Got him seven yards. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Carr. This will be caught at about the five. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three yard line. Back to X. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Oh, come on, man. He run committed. You gotta line. catch it's, that. It was a well timed collision to jar that one free. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Never possible. They'll run it with Jacobs. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders move back within a couple of the lead. Well, let the natural light of today reflect that he is now getting into the end zone two times. Look at you. You little uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, is that his name? Mm, you got him run committing. All right, I just need to stop one fucking defense, bro. Gotta stop fucking Henry, bro. Fuck! Can we do it? This is taking just shy this dude trying to showboat. I'm gonna try to eat clock. I need... I'm gonna play this. 
The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied. Two men to the ball. There we go. Again with a first and ten. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and eleven. Oh, that, that, that should have been all that was a tackle for a loss. He's out of the zone then. That might be it, fellas. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now it's Tannehill. Over the middle to Smith. Nah, I couldn't get it set up fast get enough. This one across the 30 yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And stay in it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back now in Nashville. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Play like six in. Nope. They'll run on first down. He's quick hiking, man. Fuck, I can't set up fast enough. Might have to crash the D-line down. The way he doesn't have any gaps. Got to get a tackle for a loss. Get him in position again. I'm going to try to get all the clock. So You can just pour it. You know what? No more of this. This is Henry. Here we go. Tackle him. First there gets him seven up to midfield. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters. Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming Probably up run commit. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Yeah, I'm going to run commit on this play. Good so good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. And we'll get it. He's been busy today. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. If I can run commit here, really good run stop. and he runs, we got, we got it. Position. Sad, bro. This dude's really just trying to shoot clock on me. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Tannehill now to throw. Good tackle. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. That right there, that would have been that would have been it. Yeah, I'm gonna be on that run commit heavy now. Cause worst case scenario. Is that? That's why. That's fine. 
good gain again. That's now 31 yards. I think he knows I'm running from him, so we get past him in here. Picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now in this situation, should be in a run commit. hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Playing like a bitch, bro. Blame him, but after this, I'm gonna have to call timeouts. On first down, Henry, and this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. The Raiders gonna use one of their timeouts. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. <laughs> he just stripped, man. Somebody strip the ball. Like fuck. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Just run commit. Fuck it. Now it's Henry. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not gonna go anywhere. No gain on the play that time, and it sets Run commit again. If he passes and scores, fine. This fucking bullshit, bro. I need to save that last time out. Just have to trust the process, you know. Come out in that 4 3, that buzz. Where's that buzz at? I'm in the wrong fucking formation. They come up here with another shot from the six yard line, and it's second and goal now. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get it. Ain't nothing I can do. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Oh, he caught a timeout. Oh! It'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Get those hard flats. Now it's Tannehill. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Ten yards gets him closer, but now it's fourth and goal. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder will they kick chance at a one play touchdown play and possibly not getting down in time we'll see just really depends really oh man this this is a stretch I'm gonna have to blitz the linebackers for the field goal unit and the safeties they're gonna go for this thing fourth and goal Man, come on, bro! Late touchdown, and in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. And that score, in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> Out of nowhere, almost it appears, they get it done. How about that score? And he pushed him in. Oh my God, EA fixed your game! Shit! Oh, they hit stick the guy, he falls forward! Fuck out of here! This dude just played bitch ball all the way down the fucking thing, bro. Like, fuck. Damn. They playing bitches, bro. So we will start here at the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Come on, 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 don't let him use her. I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happening in the game. They won't let me quick hike, but they let my opponents quick hike. But this is not a situation now where you're gonna make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Fucking bullshit, bro. 
play of this game. They knew that they needed some type of a miracle there. Let's see. Let me go back and see if there's anything that I could have done different. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still. You're wondering. Just really just came down and we had ball last for real. He didn't really be me, he just had ball last and I couldn't couldn't tackle Henry Ross. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. That's fucking sad. And then I couldn't I couldn't get that turnover. That turnover would have sealed the game. Cause I was on it too. I I'll probably go back to the highlight. I was covering him. I knew it was coming. I think it was this it? No. Is this it? No. Yep, this was the play. I was on the tight end. And I I guess I took a false angle. One bad angle. This play right here would have changed the, the whole pace of the game. Because I was on that shit. Damn! I won't let you react sometimes. Sad. You gotta fucking sit there and run commit against the fucking Titans, bro. It's just cheap. Can't respect people that play like that, bro. This bum, bum status. Ranked and you playing with the Titans and that's how you play. Eat clock or you fucking tote ball the whole game. It's fucking sad. You almost lost doing that shit too, bro. <laughs> you almost lost doing that bullshit. Just came down to who had ball ass, you know. Go ahead, send Justin. That shit gets frustrating, bro. Especially when you know what they're doing. They need to bring that where you could save your user adjust as an audible so that you can deal with play spammers bro I forgot which Madden that was I think it was PS3 but you could like go through all your adjustments Set all your adjustments and you could save that shit as an audible. And if you played a play spammer and you already got your adjustments, bam. You could audible to something with all your fucking pre-snap adjustments already made. They need to bring that shit back, bro. Because this fucking hitting Mortal Kombat codes in just to defend the fucking simple play, bro, is getting fucking annoying. I had the perfect defense on the field. To stop what he was doing, he just kept quick hiking me. I needed like two more seconds. I had the perfect defense to stop that shit. Hmm. That shit pisses me off. Only lost because they don't give you enough time. But it is what it is, you know. I mean, this the old fucking football man where you could hit people and shit. This game is it, it. It does cater a lot to the offense. I ain't gonna lie. Dude, playing defense on 21 is <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Especially if you ain't got abilities, bro. Like, you're sitting there. I done, I done went through, like, three controllers this year. 
and I don't even break the controller. I I be pushing buttons, man, like like crazy. Just trying to defend a simple fucking play, bro. Like stop play. These people come up with these custom playbooks with all these little cheesy routes that you got to put like 15 to 20 adjustments in just to defend it's horrible they're adjusting bro you asked for a game bro. I sent you the game it's not let me see what he's doing give me one sec If he responds, oh man, I think my offense is gonna be all right, bro. It's just when you get into those games, bro, where it just comes down to who has the ball last. And Henry, he's tough, man. You you gotta emphasize two man to the ball with Henry. You have to. And I had that concept going, but I got fucking quick hiked. And he, he it was a one-man situation, and Henry going to break that tackle every time. And I knew it. Like, I tried to blitz the linebacker, get him out of the gap so the lineman wouldn't pick him up. And then I tried to bring the safety right behind him. So I could at least knock him off his feet a little bit so he can get tackled. Like, right, Henry, tough, bro. heavy emphasis on two man to the ball when you're dealing with this guy even next year bro when they're gonna have that cheesy fucking run blocky two man to the ball play a cover three blitz the safety blitz one of those those um those curls try to play gap assignments and get to this man well, he just gets to you and he just starts just going fucking ridiculously insane. Like, he ain't really got no spin move. He got a decent, like, he got a fucking nasty ass to form. He's got a high carry rating, so you're going to need somebody with a high tackle rating or hit power rating. I mean, well, hit power ain't going to do no good if he has the tank ability. And you got a freight train, arm bar, and tank. So you can't hit stick him. He has the arm bar ability with a 99 stiff arm rating. So there's that. So he at least he doesn't truck. You know. But he's still fucking hell. Big boy, man, 6'3", 247. With 92 speed. I don't think we have a linebacker on my damn depth chart <laughs> that can that can match up with that. Maybe next year, maybe. They got a decent fullback. But their center is a fullback? What the fuck? Yeah, he's decent. He like a sleeper. They're really good. They're really good fullback. 
I mean, therefore, when you got Derrick Henry, but think by the end of Derrick Henry's career, he'll be a fullback. He ain't gonna be able to run like that forever. Like, he's 26. He got about two, three more years left in the gas tank before you know he started to diminish a little bit. I don't know, man, Justin. You said you wanted to play him. I waited for you. I'm gonna play another game. That's crazy, bro. Imagine if they actually had abilities on defense, though. Like, I can score on offense. That's not a problem. It's just when I go up against teams that try to cheese. It's rough, man. I ain't got no one that can really stop it, and I can't get my adjustments in fast enough. I am only human, after all. Sometimes I do hesitate. Because I, I try to read what they're doing in case they try to flip up what they do. Like, I don't initially just automatically go into it. Like, I wait like a second. But even though, even if I did put the adjustments in as soon as I got to, you know, out of the huddle break, EA Sports coverage of the he'd still quick hike me, and I still wouldn't have enough time to input at all. No That's so I said. They need to add... The savior adjustments on the fly or something. Like you can change your audibles on the fly. Why not save your adjustments on the fly? And then just turn it into an audible. You can come back to it. Oh no. I don't mind playing the Chiefs. Really just kind of contain Mahomes a little bit. Alright, we'll play a two man here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Got everybody over there on that side, man coveraged up. Only person we got to worry about is the halfback. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Take that crossing first route away. Should have been covered. Good gain of nine on first down. Let me do it again. Give him nine there on the first down completion. To throw again on second down. Cross route spamming. I'm gonna have to go to a cover two. Put a cover two on the field. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds Tampa. up going for 31. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes. Ah! Oh, fucking swatted. That should have been a pick. I had that. I can't believe I did that shit. Now you gotta wait till after this game, bro. I waited like five, six. Or, I, I forgot. I waited a long time. <laughs> I even sent you a message on PSN, I think. I'm playing a bunch of cheesers, bro. All right, we got a cover three. More like a... I'm going to let him do all that setting up just so I can blast him. He did all that to get torched. <laughs> I want him to bring that corner down on rugs just like that. Just like that. That's what I want. Car with a play fake to Jacobs. Use your catch with the R1 button. Let's fucking go. Gotta hit that R1 button when you go for them catches, fellas. Look at that. 
gotta hit that R1. Hold R1 when you catch it, bro. Boom. Loving that. It's just clutch. Way too long. Worried about all that. Good shit, rugs. With the user catch. I've been, I've been trying to master that shit, you know. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. Probably gonna end up breaking my R1 button. I'll <laughs> be on that bitch so goddamn hard. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and ten, right at the 30. Good fucking blitz. Good shit, Cleveland. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. Man, I'm gonna have to switch up to spacing. If he's gonna do that. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball. Let me try to send that blitz again. Here's Hardman on the return. Oh, a good looking return set. I log in free free cheap shots. Recent plays. I came in that QB contain. I know I had a third. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And that last possession really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive and suddenly the fumble. Yeah, he wide open. The back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. Not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. Why do that again? Oh my God! Why I'm trying to do what I'm doing on offense on defense? It don't work on defense. Defense, he swats the damn ball. I gotta get out of that habit before it becomes a bad habit. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they gonna slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with. Yeah, I had the right defense on the field too, man. Fuck. Sure That's twice. I should have picked them all both times. Ugh, gotta remember, don't do it on defense. Do it on offense. Now after the touchdown, here gotta shake the cobwebs off of doing it, you know? He presses rugs one more goddamn time. We're going to keep bombing him out. We'll turn the stadium into Baghdad. Just the <laughs> offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Let's stay in three. It's just a straight. Oh my God, this dude's an idiot. You gonna press him or not? If not, I'm just gonna go street. Play action. Now it's Carr. He'll let this go deep for Rook. Hold on, one. Oh. See, but you see how we're getting better animations, even even with him doing that. We're getting better animations. Look there, boom. Just hold R1. Keep pressing. Play has 
has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Here's Carr to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Hold R1. Catch it every time. First and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now, car again. Flushed out right. Hold our one. Oh, he got inside on me. But y'all see, I got an animation, you know. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He got outside the pocket there trying to improvise. We got this quarter. Field, but still the interception. It was like quarter, quarter, third. He did call for the ball thinking that he was open. I didn't the think old boy was stopped. Late, and that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. You got a quarter bird hook. And then just man up everybody and then chase Hardman. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. God damn. Kelsey got down. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. From the gun, it's Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. And he takes this in. Man, he recovered. That's the best I can do. Tyreek Hill doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. It takes you a 99 overall Hunker quarterback to a 94 plus overall receiver to make that happen, bro. And that makes I felt like I did what I was supposed game. to do. Now after the touchdown, here's Bunker right. on to kick it away. I feel like I beat myself so far in this game. I had two picks. Trying to do that offensive technique on defense. <laughs> For God, I'm swatting the ball instead of uh, going for a catch animation. No need to do that on defense. That's what's costing me this game right now. You're going to keep pressing him, bro. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? Let's have that R1. Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play <laughs> -play guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And he's got his man. You see the catch animations I'm getting? When I'm holding R1, they don't slow down. They keep running. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Just hold R1. Carr now on first down. Hold R1. Look at that. My guy doesn't slow down, he keeps running. Look at that audible to spacing. It's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Again, it's Carr. Oh my god, he, he chased the flat route. A two point conversion is successful. Right, that little hold R1 technique, bro. That's going to make my offense deadly. Because then I'm going to I'm gonna try fucking passes. That y'all won't normally see folks who try. Like, I don't care. I'm going to try to throw it in double, triple coverage. Just because I, I'm confident. I don't mind taking them types of throws, man. You gotta risk it sometimes. 
I know damn well I had the defense to stop this guy. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. We have witnessed touchdowns on back-to-back -to -back drives to see if the offense can continue this uptick here. And I know you're looking <laughs> at me funny. You're I got the blitzes, man. Fuck. Nice. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Thus far, they've been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle. Can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. I'm gonna try it one more time. On that one, but they may come back to it again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, Mahomes taking a deep shot. I hate when they glitch me out, bro. I set my guys up and then he motioned them and then he moved. That's so fucking gay. Especially when it's a blitz assignment, you know, like if I might have been a blitz assignment, he shouldn't be following him. That messed the whole play up. That should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. This might be a shootout game, fellas. I apologize. In advance. The Raider offense set to get this drive play started. the cover three. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod. And you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. Hold on one. Oh, they cheated me. Oh that was supposed to be mine. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. I want to go back and look at that. He clipped through me, bro. Like, that's so bullshit. Wow. That was, that's what it takes. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. Off the play fake. He'll set up to throw it. Steps away. Just this pass going to be caught by Hardman. Throw, rolling out to the left. Just throw him with your right hand. The end result, Clipping through the Gatorade drink machine. Come on, man. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move even I had this guy go. Fuck. Run and picking up a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. Not today, buddy. Down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Tanner Muse came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. They fake the give. Not today, buddy. Under pressure again, and down he goes. Pissed off now. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't All right, happen. I'm going to have to. accountability and a sack resulted. Need like a buzz match. Gonna need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, good fucking shit. Good D. Good D. They chose the ladder, but I didn't make up for it. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Right, we got this. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. This guy. And last oh, time, man. One he did it again. He did it again. Ah, he backed him up. This dude is pussy. But see, the thing is, I can motion him. 
He done moved him. A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give him a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe Hold on, run, boom! I'm gonna stop moving that guy. I'm just gonna take advantage of him. Hold R1. Get on the ground. You hold R1 after you do your catch animation. Like if you, you press the button, like triangle for aggressive, square for rack, or X for possession. You just press it. Don't hold that. Just press it until it highlights green. It'll, it'll highlight green. And then you hold R1 during the catch sequence. And boom, you'll catch it. You get a nice animation. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Something you're going to have to probably go into practice mode, man, because it took me a while to get used to it. But you'll get nice catch animations. You'll win a lot more of those 1v1s. All right, we're going to play this two-man. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory. The third right there. The field position battles, a general I'm not going to worry about that. If he's running a crossing route, we got a man on him. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Slowed him down. Good shit. He's probably pissed. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. But it's going to be second down. That should have been that should have been PI. We we'll play the two man again. You run into Abram with that little man. Sixteen yards, a first down. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown of communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. They'll roll him out right. With the right blitz. He's got it. He is out of bounds inside the get in there fast enough. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes rolling to his right. This will be caught inside the 10. I wish he would have fumbled. Take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the I said, the it's going to be a high-scoring game. It's up and good, and they've jumped back ahead, 35-28. Yes, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw bombs all on Dave. Like, fuck it. Now that I got, got used to this fucking now after the touchdown, catch technique. Bucker on to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep, and this will not be brought out. It's a mm, touchback. It. See if he comes out. He presses him. We going over the top. He want to move him. We, we're gonna motion him, and he's just really gonna be in for, in, a, in for a fucking headache. The Las Vegas offense ready to start Oh, bro, he got him. We got him. Oh, we definitely got him. Let's see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets the possession you. pitch. That's the cardinal sin of defense. Not giving up the long See how we dictate now you play defense now. Because now, I don't even need to do shit. I can fucking just stand Waller deep and then run rugs on a slant underneath. Just thinking about the options here. I can send Waller deep. Now a play fake. Car. Hold 
that R1. Can't play two, man. You want to shade outside? Fine. I want to motion him inside. You can't press that either. You're in trouble. Look at that. Hold R1. Look at that. Have a field day. Hold R1. Oh, look at him. Getting animations. And he's not able to, to pick it off. Catch him in a pass commit. So now I'm just getting this guy with skill. All right, so now we got a guy. I want to get this RPO on him. I think we'll tie it. He's in mad. Right, right in the middle, right where we want it. I'm loving them catch animations I'm getting. Oh man, he's in man. No. Does he? Does he know? Is he using it? I'm gonna throw out a set. It's fine. Let's kick it deep. Play defense. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. I want that catch where he. Yeah, that's it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've had games where I went to 90, bro. Dead ass. I think I've even scored a, a hundred before. Um, we're gonna play. I'm gonna play this two-man blitz. The Chiefs' offense about set to begin this drive. So you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got ah! It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. I'm gonna crash D-line out. Pinch my linebackers in. Maybe I can create a block shed. Sir. I need to get a. I need to get a sack. No. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And it's complete. They put my fucking DB in a fucking spy. And down to the 15. A big play there just before halftime. And even 60 yards. Madden just cheated me, bro. They put my cornerback in a spy. I didn't even think that was a possible adjustment from that position. I ain't gonna run out of bullets, bro. We're gonna play a Tampa 2 right here. Give me that. To get this drive started. I don't care. And you gotta think if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Just get out of there. 
Throw the ball! Car! Fuck you, bro! Gotta give me faster throw animations, Madden. Faster throw animations. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defense. Let's get the tackle, bro. Let's go to halftime. Yeah, Madden just cheated me there, bro. I threw the ball and he didn't throw it. Come on now. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We got ball. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Now, I can do some creative things with Ruggs now because he's going to be playing over the top. So we can definitely move him around now. He's so worried about that one thing that we're doing. He not paying attention. We going to catch his ass. We going to catch his ass. Is he paying attention? Let's play that game. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? <laughs> Let's play Where's Waldo. Look at that animation we get with holding R1. We don't stop. We keep our feet moving. Alright. So whatever I audible to right now has to work. Because I already made two adjustments. So. Go with a, go with a smash. Can't go wrong with this play. Boom. Hold R1. Get the catch every time. Uh, coach. Coach did. You, you put it in my DM. And I was like, you know, let me check it out. And I labbed it up. Hold R1. Boom. Catch it. Yes, sir, man. Do, do put me on game with that one. And with my offense, bro, that's a deadly, deadly combination. You take my play calls with that catch mechanic, bro. It's like crazy shit. You keep up with the best teams. You know, these dudes just playing deuce close. We're just going to play. We covered three, but we're going to put quarters on the field. I'm going to run crossers. Yeah, DC nice, bro. We're going to play cover six. Instead, we're going to blitz. See if they can avoid doing it here. Oh! Oh, we got him! <laughs> we got through that gap. He tried. He tried something. Then. Uh uh. Nah, he beat. Good fucking tackle. Should be one of them games, fella. One of them games. Tackles. There we go. Alright, I gotta play Tampa 2 down here. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a one of them games, one of them games. Don't need no deep pass. We'll stay with a Tampa too. We're just going to. Good blitz. He tried to screen. He tried to screen. Picks up his second sack of the afternoon. 
You try to screen. Another try after the first down sack. Uh -uh. Good D, good D, let's go. Stay with it. Alright, we go nickel this time. And better hands on the field. Stay with the tackle. Give me a quarter over there, third. And my user's going to be over here. Give me a third over there. Trying to do flood concepts. Stay on them. Good D. Take your three, bitch. Oh, man. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cover two, show four. The offense stays out there. A big challenge outside third, outside third. Fourth and goal. Ah! Get that out of here! Let's go! They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Raider D they get the football back. Car and the Raiders come up first and ten at their own sixteen. Is he paying attention? Is he paying attention? Is he paying attention? Oh, look at that user catch, baby! Look at that user catch! Hold on one, motherfuckers! Hold on one! Look at those an animations we're getting. Look at that user catch. Boom! That is, that is clutch, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna break the fucking game with this shit now. I'm gonna break the game with this user catching now. Oh, we almost got it. I should have put a should have high pointed it. It's fine. I don't mind. I, I'll take the chances. If I would have high pointed it, not through a bullet, maybe a touch pass, I could have probably corner pocketed that. You know, and you learn from your mistakes. You know, that's fine. I had I had him beat. I could just probably put a little bit more air on. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They had a quarter over there. Half over there. No, quarter over there. Good. Fuck it. Good. Get in there. 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 Get in this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they were. Right, we locking them up. I think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally. We don't worry about too much now. They may have gained more confidence. Okay, let's go back to the nickel. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Play six and work. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Send him as a blitz, but don't blitz him. Now the homes. Complete the tight end Kelsey. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and they two. They cover three plays. Put two quarters on the outside. No, 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 no. We send the blitz. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Escaping the Send it. Right. Yeah, you ain't got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity got missed sat. there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they like some that matchups might that they have. I don't know. Let's see. Exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Let's see what he does. Trey Y, I fucking hate Trey Y flex. I'm gonna have to send the cover three disguise. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Yeah. And he takes this into the 
he barely got that too. Nicole Hardman, 72 yards, and the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. He threw it off his back foot. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. Like seriously, aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Give me that. Should have let me run it back. He didn't jump super high for it. I mean, barely jump. Why I jump like that? Man. I should have been able to catch and go. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Man, this man's scared because I'm going deep. I don't fucking care. I'm going over the top. Rocky Balboa style. Oh, orgasm, orgasm, orgasm. Ah, almost. Nah, you're not going to be able to press me, bro. You can back everybody up. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's Leave Waller open, you stay in man coverage. A little bit shaky. Maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I really wanted to, bro. On play action, now Carr. Look at that, boom, tap R1. That's just gonna kill that cover one. Where the hey? Where the flag? Where the flag, bro? Come on, man! Y'all gotta throw that. Look at there, boom. Hold R1, you get the catch. That's a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so they can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. He forgot about the running back. He forgot about the running back. We got him past commit spamming. He's so scared of it. This man got his man play a dollar defense. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and hit him with the spacing concept. Try to hit that fullback out the backfield. Hold R1, boom, look at that. Just gotta get used to the muscle memory now, you know? It's just something I gotta... I, at first, you know, I was like on trying to do it on defense. Don't do it on defense. <laughs> Unlearn it if you're trying to do it on defense. It'll fuck you up. But uh, offensively, bro, it's clutch. Littleton, knock him the fuck out. Worried about none. The Chiefs offense about set to quarter. begin this drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this oh, man. Boom. Plenty of time on the clock. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a really Play. nice job by this. Shade over the top. I'm gonna have to change these zone drops. You think if you blitz a running play, you're gonna smother it? But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Look at that. I like that. 
A loss on that play, and now third down. <laughs> Made him run into his own guy. Look at that, just kid in the backfield. Boom, unblocked. Probably down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Take the prim primary read away. They'll run it. Yeah. We've got a one score gain with inside of two minutes. Just had to contain. I had like two two flat reads. Just blitz two like I would in my um so the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Now he's forced out right. Give me that! Oh! Give me them two flats. Two curls, two flats. Mabel is ass. You worry about it. Two curls, two flats. And finally forced an incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. He'll buy some time right. Oh, how I missed that! How I missed that! <laughs> that must have been a pick! Oh! I went for a fucking hit stick, man. Fuck! The other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ball game. Man, you gonna try to eat clock? He's scared. Scary ass. I'm not even gonna call a timeout here, but I don't need a minute to score. All I need is what a field goal, bro. Even if he goes for two. Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. As it One goal, though. Exactly a minute to go in the football you play game. two sink shade underneath. And you got to, I'm going to have to spy a safety. He's going to roll out of the pocket in the home. So two sink shade underneath, spy a safety, and then just defend any deep route over the top with the other safety. He's not going to run, is he? Or is he? I'm gonna take the ladder here. Even if he scores, I got a minute with the ball. So stay with it. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things yeah, first. Push it back five. We're gonna have to come out first and goal. in a dime. I don't know if there's a two sink for dying there's a Tampa there's a dime blitz game, a one. I'm not gonna blitz five for first and goal. After the penalty, it's Bell. And yes, he's in thank you What I need you to do now go for two and miss. Go for two and fail. I need two sink, two sink, two sink, two sink, two sink. So now a big spot here is the Chiefs will Spy the safety. Shade underneath. And here's Edwards aware. Oh my god, bro. And he will get into the end zone again. He seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown. Let me get some defensive ends that can block shit, bro. That's all I'm saying. You have to time it on defense. It would, but you have to time it. Now after the Justin. touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away.
Bro, you, you seriously doubt me, bro? I got three timeouts and a minute with a ball. I'm creative. I don't mind if I lose either, you know? Like, I'm having fun. I take shots. I take chances. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So, tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked. Look at this. Oh, I missed that! What? Oh my god! He's gonna be on it now! Fuck! Still got it, bitch! Tackle me. So we need to take them timeouts. Game over. <laughs> For the same play, it still got it. Take that last time out from you, son. I told you, bro. That game. They come out in this uh, special teams. Fake field goal. Shovel. Pass. <laughs> He's going to call. <laughs> to see my stats. <laughs> Yo. I'm back to being explosive again. Like, I'm having fun. I mean, I need to combine that with being conservative. You know, like it's fun scoring points. <laughs> I can't lie. Eventually, your uh, opponent's going to give out and something's going to happen. That dude's got... He would be ranked if he didn't rage quit so much, bro. He's got more ranking points than me. But he don't have a rank because he rage quits. Bro, dude dude averages 14 points and I put a 50 burger up on him. <laughs> and he had the Chiefs, bro. Look, look, look. This dude played with the Chiefs. Look at the passing. I've got like 100,000 more passing in less games than this guy. And I use the fucking Raiders, bro. Look at my rushing yards, bro. What the fuck is this guy doing? He must play bitch ball or something. No fucking way. What's his average time? You know, he don't hold the ball very long. That's crazy. Alright, I'll catch it. Yo, this R1. Yo, he rage quit, bro. I I put the ball down in the five and I took a knee. And he, he wasn't having nothing of it. Go. Yo, that shit's fucking clutch, bro. Yeah. That shit's why, abuse. That. It's abuse, bro. <laughs> Especially when I got Waller over there. Like, hey, Waller, when you do that shit on rat catches, bro, your dude doesn't stop. He doesn't do, like, dumb out routes where, you know, he stops paying attention. Like, he actually fucking runs after the catch. Like, it feels fluent. It doesn't feel like he has to stop and then go, nah, the motherfucker is full I'm speed. I'm wondering though, what I, was, what I was trying to say, I guess, is I'm wondering if on defense... It worked, like a, a L2, it do work, but see the thing is, it's timing based. Like right, you right. literally have to wait until A, the ball has to be in the air. You cannot use strafe prior to that. If you use strafe nah, too I'm early... Sure. You get yep. penalized, yeah. and the CPU will take control of your user, and it'll put you. You'll get burnt. So you well, can't. See, that's why I was thinking uh, it might be L1 because in the old Madden you used to hold L1, and it was defensive assist. Remember that? Well, in the old Madden. 
You can I'll always go. That. You could also go to the um, controller and see. Uh, what would it be under settings? Game controls, defense. Ball in the air. Defensive assist, L1. See? So I'm thinking, because there's, there's always an opposite. You know, this is what they talk about in the laws of the universe. There's always an opposite. So if R1 would be on offense, and that means that there would have to be a button for defense. Defensive yeah. assist would just basically just prevent your user from getting out of position on the ball. Like, sometimes you might accidentally, you know, move left or right. Whenever I've seen the video on the R1 shit, I was like, there's no fucking way. Bro. But defensive assist also helps pursuit. Right. I'm telling you, bro, there's, there's got to be a way to do it on defense as well. So you hold it. You hold L1. Like, during the defense, like, you, you let... You play, play the defense as is, just hold L1. All right, but uh, go ahead and send. Yeah, let me send my depth chart. Keep talking. Man, that R1 shit is clutch. I wish I, I wish dude didn't rage quit so I could go back and show oh, you them I catches. Know, them I them know. catches that I was getting with rugs was fucking insane. Like, dude caught it on three guys with the aggressive catch. Like, little ass rugs, aggressive catch on three guys. Then I fucking, I mossed his ass. On the fucking the throw out of sack with it, fucking went up and mossed him. Normally I get that it becomes a tip drill, and I get right. pissed off. You know, like, well, you know, here we go with the bullshit. But that R one, bro, it fucking it takes your game to the next level. This shit is just not not even fair. Y'all just have to go in practice mode, fellas, and get used to the muscle memory of doing it. Don't. It's not like something you could just go straight in your game and start doing because you're gonna Definitely fuck up. Not, like I, I think I spent like two hours yesterday getting used to the muscle memory of when to hold R1. That's pretty much what you have to do. But you will always get catch animations, always. You won't have no, no fucking you get hit in the air, drop the ball, shit. No, that's sh that's just done. <laughs> no more of that. Interceptions will be interceptions. It won't be tip drill interceptions. Like if they they pick you off, they're gonna have to make the right adjustment to defend you for what you're running. But one on one, bruh, most <laughs> it's just unfair. Oh man, shit! Tennessee's gonna be overpowered with this shit next year. Fucking Julio Jones, just putting <laughs> Julio and Henry and oh shit. But maybe that won't be so bad, you know? Tennessee's only bad when, you know, you're just playing a toter. Like all they do is run. That's the only time they're bad. I fucking hate playing toters. I mean, you could stop them, but Henry, he... He different level of cheese. I think he's, he, if I were to rank the top five running backs that I hate going up against, Henry, Saquon Barkley, that guy on the, the, the Dalvin Cook, yeah, um, like Raheem Mostert. Niners? Yeah. And, um, trying to think, oh, let me go to these rosters real quick. Trying to make sure. I don't mind McCaffrey. I don't mind Chubb. Here, let me uh, look on my. Barkley. Mostert, obviously. Christian McCaffrey, Derrick Henry, Ezekiel Elliott, Nick Chubb, the Browns, bro. That's got to be the next one. Uh uh. Nick Chubb is a motherfucker, uh -uh. bro. I think it's, I'm thinking it's going to be that guy on the, the Bears. 
with a good with a good you with a good user the guy on the bears i'm trying to what remember uh-uh what's that guy on the bears name fuck oh you talking about the little short guy the sticky guy like you like that motherfucker if you don't play right run defense he's gonna fuck you up um you talking about uh cohen yeah this motherfucker Three right cohen. here even though he low rated, bro, he annoying as hell. He got a 90 change of direction. Yeah, he used to have an ability last year, but he lost it. Yeah, motherfucker, he hell. <clears throat> but that's my that's my top five. A lot of people don't really run, you know, straight power backs like I do. I don't care about speed too often you know for my running back position I don't feel like it's important because sometimes they'll overrun blockers oh man if you can master that shit with fucking Evans bro yeah I know People are really gonna have to double him. And how are you gonna double him and then have fucking Chris? You'll get Chris Godwin one on one with his route tech. You'll have your tight ends one on one. You get the little speed demon, Scotty Miller one on one. But you got you got to use like that, that. If I if I was a Bucks fan and I played with the Bucks. I would make sure that I got Evans in the zone. Like, that would be my focus. Find ways to get him into the zone. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And off we go from Tampa. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. I try to do it again. I fucked up. I try to do it on defense again. R one and triangle for that aggressive No, I tried to do it on defense, and that's put me out of position. I fucked up. I think L one will do it. No, I mean it's just bad habit, muscle memory, you know. I'm gonna try it out, man. Dead ass. I ain't taking this shit serious. Takes this about five yards deep, and he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Car and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. Oh, he holds on to the ball. He holds on to the ball. That's all I, that's all I care about. Exhibition game, though. Second down. On play action, it's Carr. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. He'll have a first down past the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Man, Justin Fields, the Bears going to be 
Oh, they're Sleeper. Gonna be, they're gonna be suit. This shit is gonna be suit up. Oh, man, you, you scared over there or something, bro? <laughs> now a play fake. Car. He's oh, yeah. Look at that! Oh! Uh, <laughs> like I said, you don't get tip at tip tip balls anymore. Yeah, I know. A drop is a drop. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Back to the air on second down. It's caught. Oh, he should have threw it. Well, hesitate. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Look at that. <laughs> see the ball drops on the ground. Do you see how the ball drops now? It's... I like it. No more tip balls anymore. I'm just having a fight, bro. I am. Okay. Oh, I'm not playing to win or lose. I'm just kind of just having fun. Just trying shit out to go for it on their own side of the field. Here we go on fourth down with Carr. Oh, I threw it to the wrong button. I hit the. I hit the R1 too fast. We like those. We like those. I had a man wide open. I was gonna th trying to throw it to him. And I, I hit the R1 for the catch animation too soon, so. I hit the R1 before I hit the receiver button. <laughs> Lab it. So Get used to it. On offense, that pick six, then the kick yeah, that shit's gonna help you out a lot, though, bro. Hope they keep it in. 22. 21, 22. Now, when I start adding more base plays to this. It's going to be unfair because you're not going to know what to defend. The Raider so I see you trying to. Drive started and they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in. And now you're not going to pull loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. <laughs> Carl try it again on second down. Thank you. And a double coverage Perfect. and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. Yeah, Down the numbers. There he goes. And it's a pick six. Yeah, he brings it back to the house for a bucket and TD. That man's going to be a monster next year. That's a great example of a team White? that was really amped up. Yeah. They put playing so well. Yeah, they didn't get over I want to see how Ricky did. Uh, he's slow, bro. Their own big play with a pick six. I ain't worried about this how fast he is. He's in his 40 yeah, time. Like, what kind of linebacker is he? I don't think he's coverage. I've seen his 40 time. I was like, ooh. I don't think we'll use another linebacker. I think he'll just be like a... I don't know, like a 3-4 kind of guy. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're oh arming themselves on offense. I like that. Look at that. Boom. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Wow. And they get him down, but not before he 
takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To throw his car. Look at that. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row. First down. Carr finds Williams. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Off play action. Carr. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. Bade, balling, tipping all over the place, though. He goes straight to the ground and it's either a drop or it's a catch. No defensive bullshit. The defense was all over him and they got there to break that one up. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Look at that. Right back to Williams and this time he's got him. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. He reps. No, he got that ability, bro. Car at gunslinger, bro. Oh my God. Bro, any quarterback. I know, right? It's only one fucking guy who has it. And he deserves it. Yeah, but he shouldn't be the only person in the game with right. it. There's other quarterbacks that can swing that thing. They'll try to run it with Jenkins. And this one incomplete. Yeah, so they went for the two, they don't get it. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two point tries and see what the data tells us. All right, perfect. A lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation. This time, Very unsuccessfully. Wow. I just wonder if maybe it's like one yard short. When it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Now Brady. Pressure and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Delivers a score. 
So they had a good drive going, a chance to build on this first half lead, but now you kind of feel like we got a new ball game. And you wonder what the discussion will be now at halftime because I think we were headed towards one. Now it's a different discussion altogether. One side optimistically, the other side wondering what could have been. Now after the INT, it's Carr. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. You just thought you were going to run that back, uh uh. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked I their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Boy, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away, they stuck it in the end zone, <laughs> keep the momentum going. You still get hit by all. Defensive guys from oh, rallying and stopping that two point attempt. Bucks offense set to begin their next possession and following the pick six and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Now a nice throw here oh, right side. Right. He hauls it in. <laughs> and he'll be out of bounds. Yeah, to hesitated. I had it, too. The run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. The big play has him all the way oh, out near midfield for a first and 10. Yes, sir. Right. Coming up at halftime, yeah, yeah. a little less you than two that. minutes. We'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Oh, yeah. There's a ball thrown oh, yeah. right side All and complete. Yeah. And he'll be out just a yard or two. Hiking in the I can get in position. Two yards there, a first down. Thinking you're gonna bait me and like and back like somehow come back and try to never do it. Oh, 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 now a draw play. This is Jones. And yeah. strong running there as he's inside yep, the predator ten down the eight yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Out of the shotgun is Jones. And he's in still get hit. Touchdown run as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. That's a run they just gave up there. Anyway. That's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've you had got a tough Giovanni time through Bernard. the first two quarters. They you really were determined Rojo, to get a stop Long there. Jones. Unable to you do so. Playoff, that Lenny. makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. set to get this drive started and you're under a minute to go in the half a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you how do you think they'll play this well, i think the smart approach is to run out the clock lick your wounds at the half and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second but there's also something to challenge your offense right here you know hey guys you help dig this hole sir read it like a book son intercepted picked up by levante david and it's a pick six he brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer team. Oh, that stupid ability. Oh, this is becoming tough to watch. I, 
I don't, I don't know that I've seen three picks Blame it on from the same quarterback in the same game. And, right and I know that yeah, I know, but his ability triggered. Why did you let him stay out there to throw those? He's like yeah, almost. But truthfully, the camera, man. what are the odds that right. you're gonna throw three pick sixes in a game? You want to leave him out there so they can work through some of the rough stuff. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start mm. at the 25. We need to have a game one day where it's just me and you, Raiders versus Raiders. <laughs> Why you want to play with my team? Just so I ain't got to hear no bullshit excuse. Oh, man, come on, bro. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach is go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you get this last drive here. But, oh, you get the ball to start the second half. It was it slowing my guy down, here, bro. Get points mm. now and come oh, out of like that. And get more points again and get your momentum really built up. As soon as I saw man, man, and get it like outside, that, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays most of these quarterbacks when they do that they want the big play downfield they don't want to throw it short in this case he took the shot it fell incomplete car with a play fake to jacobs and he's got his man in stride complete and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. Off the play fake. Carr. Ah. Uh. And for the fourth yeah, time tonight, yeah. it's an interception. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Whitehead, and they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if you're starting through four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And how about that for just running out the clock? Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and ten all the way down at the 35. I'm doing that shit on defense again, man. I need to stop. I'm in the wrong button. That shit looks so pretty when you look in the animation, bro. I did it myself. <laughs> you know it. I went for a swat while I was running yeah, away. Dude did like a fucking 360 like he's on a merry-go-round. I'm like, bro, man. I got to stop doing that on defense. That's killing I love me. this fucking dude. So this spread offense. Of, I love this. This first first bro. It's my favorite the game. Bro, I'm, 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 I'm beating my. I'm beating myself. Like I'm doing that shit on defense. Oh, uh, like. oh, oh. We know you like <laughs> to beat yourself, but yes, this. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why I like this. This spread offense. Bro. Thirty-three shotgun formations. That's, yeah, that's too much. That's, that's too much. Nah, bro, I love it. I've got so many different ways to get this ways drive started. And with time quickly Look fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, aggressively offensively they want Evans, to play this. Dobby, Miller, I think Brown, we'll find Howard, out just Brown, how much they trust their guys in, in this situation if they decide to take and a shot. And there's umpteen packages I can go through. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And nearly another what? interception. I'm going to try it. Go I ain't scared. Like a bloodhound, boy. An incomplete pass leads to second and like ten from the twenty-five. I learned my lesson, man. I keep David on that motherfucker. Play action. As as Car. Uh huh. Throw out Thank a sack. Thank you. Oh, Let me run get that. Ah. Picked up by Levante David. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as 
I wish I had a D-line that could block shit like theirs. Like, Jesus. Them motherfuckers just come off blocks like, yeah. Yeah, but I remember a time when they used to not get shit. It must be nice. I remember our D-line was so bad that your old boy got kicked off the team. <laughs> for being soft. Think about that. He's supposed to be we get your best defensive player and he gets kicked off the team for being soft. That's sad, bro. And then I love, it was uh, wasn't too long after that, he's on the Panthers. And he's all doing this pregame speech talking about, I want all the smoke. I want to get this. I want to get this revenge. He got all the smoke that day. He lost by a landslide. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. And now off to the races down the right side. You cannot use her, that man, with a linebacker. You're going to learn your lesson. Well, I had to make a choice. I could leave him open or, you know. You left him open. <laughs> well, wide open. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. changes well those changes aren't working so now where do you go i think that now it's much more in their head and what i mean by that is that just what you said you've gone over the changes i bet they were pretty clinical at the half not too emotional they might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something some spark somewhere and so far just being calm hasn't exactly worked they need any spark at this point Oh, hit as he throws there incomplete. It must be nice getting those blocks there, bro. Tried to look elsewhere and find an open target. <laughs> I mean, like, damn. That one falls incomplete. It's like, you know, you're getting blocked. You just, you know. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. 
Working from the gun, it's Carr. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They do go for it. It's Carr. Eluding the pressure right. Yes, sir. It is incomplete. A surprising move to yes, go sir. for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Bucks are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Gun, it's Brady. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to find O.J. Howard third down here. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Brady going to go on fourth down. <laughs> Run Open man has got what it's complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, his second touchdown of the night. And this Buccaneer offense, they're running. Nah, when you possession kits on third down, bro, they always they, they always fall short. I don't possession kits like that unless I know the route's going to go past it. We're seeing a big time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. And you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. set to get this drive started and last time out went for it on fourth down turned it over gave a great field position turned it to six points so they've got to recover here charles look at that wow that's it right there that's it right there it's a big play there for vegas 49 yards look at that get kiss animation and he's got it that one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And he'll find Moreau here. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. That catch good for only a couple. Final minute now of the third quarter. Looking to throw again on second Look at that. down. Carr, this is caught. Nine yards on the play there and it sets him up first and goal. Now, Look at there. Boom. That shit is nice. In traffic. That's how you lab that shit. Take a lot of... Take a lot of fuck-ups, man, but... Eventually you get it down. That's all I'm doing. I'm just labbing it. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. Watch out, watch out, watch out. 
Oh, bad pass. Move to analog. Get out of the way, car. I gotta get out of the habit of moving the analog on those high pass and low pass balls. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Still well in control of this ball game despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. And look at this. They come right back with a big shot downfield. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And this offense continues to pour it on. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Extra point try now for Suckham. And the lead grows even <sighs> larger here in the third quarter. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. That'll be oh and miscommunication on the left. <laughs> what kind of pitch is that, man? And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now. Look at that boom. Catch animation. Urgency a little bit. Maybe pump up the pace. Maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. It'll be a gain of 15 on the play. And the Raiders are going to get a new set of downs. And that would not Stop to be. Give me throw game. out of sacks. Hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Tampa. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Again, it's Carr. And my goodness, another interception. I'm just laughing the catch, so I'm, I don't mind. Surprise, you're not trying to lab it. That's what you said you wanted to do. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. They the last game. I was remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, What are you doing? You see, I'm just using this lab. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, Oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. You like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. I mean, I was, like I said, I wasn't playing to win or lose. I'm just trying to lab these catches. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Now Carr to try again after the pick six. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. You gotta hit all one. No, I should have went for the position. Oh, you went for square? Yeah, I went for a right. Thought he would catch it on the sideline. They've been unsuccessful all night. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. To throw again, Carr. 
That Z line, bro. Jesus. <laughs> it's like you don't even, you really don't even have to try with them, bro. Yeah, that's the whole point. Now, car. Oh. Should have been PI. Yeah, it should have been a flag on one of them. Fucking no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Fucking literally held me. Go deep. Let's try like to hit it. Like <laughs> <laughs> I went for the catch animation, you know, but Car again here on second and ten. He'll let this go deep for runs. And now here is I got his whole team covering him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, far. Can't really, can't really lab it if all you're trying to do is put your entire team on the guy I'm trying to catch, catch with. Kind of defeats the purpose. I'm just gonna use somebody else. Nah, I'm gonna use somebody else, bro. And in this situation, it hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, Jubilation Ooh, what the oh, fuck is that? Oh uh, no, no. <laughs> I'll never let you live that down, bro. You call yourself a defensive player? <laughs> Man, if I had abilities, bro. I'm just saying, if I had abilities. Brady gonna fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Looking for Godwin and he's got it complete. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. I love that guy. Chris Godwin, 38 yards. And the interception by the Bucks D leads to a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And the lead will swell by one more. I'm on bench rugs so that you don't know who I'm going to. It's obviously you're gonna go to you're gonna go to Williams or you're gonna go to Waller. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. Yeah, I'm gonna put someone else in. Uh, I'm gonna put what's his name in. You ain't gonna know who the fuck getting the ball now. Uh what, Renfro? Uh, I'm putting I'm putting a bunch of people in that you ain't gonna expect. Ah, bro. Oh, yeah. Zay Jones. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. I see. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. It doesn't you matter, try, you, You're trying to rely on, you know, go-to targets, uh-uh. Now you don't Later know who getting the ball. Set to get this drive started. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they the recalibrate and yeah. get this there proverbial train back on track? But this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, have your fun. All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. Sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's done. And down he goes. A Buccaneer sack. Right at the sack to Vita Vea. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Usually when I play the Bucks, I got to play for real. And it's like... You can't really laugh and listen too much. Another try after the first down sack. Car. I just gotta mix it up when I play. I gotta put these bums in. First down as the tackles made at the Bucks 45 yard line. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two minute warning. Pretty low overall, then you don't know who getting the ball. Three yards the game there, second down. Just two minutes from I don't rely on superstar abilities. So. One-sided affair. Kind of can, so it's Raider football as we get, get, get you reset. Can. They'll break the huddle and come out with four receivers, three of them to the right side, second and seven. Now Carr. Being 
chased out left. They're not always open complete. And this is gonna be another first down as the tackles made at the box twenty six. Oh yeah. Dawes catching everything. Yeah. Just take rugs out. You don't know who's getting the ball. You, do, you dial in too much. Now when I play you, man, I'm just gonna put my low overall receivers in. Now the Bucks gonna use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings them up second and ten. To throw again. Car. That is caught inside the five. The Raiders on double coverage. Let's out. fucking go. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. The man said, Who's Zay Jones? That's Zay Jones right there. I definitely resend, man. I'm going to uh, put all my backups in. You think I'm playing? I'm serious. Look at that ball. Who's Zay Jones? That's Zay Jones. Remember, I've started all my receivers now. Every receiver has started for me at least once. I'm used to him. But Keelan Doss, though. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go. He might be two. like a user god. To throw its car. Look at that. Boom. Doss. So they do get the two. Doss gonna be my new go-to. Deficit, but maybe something to feel a little better about. Definitely gonna have to dial up some plays for that man. He does have all the catch animations. He don't have no negative traits. See there, I take I take rugs out. You don't know who the fuck getting the ball, and then I can keep and then I add my run game back to it. But I'm not doing run games right now. I'm labbing. So. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself. But you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row. Let's go. Oh, no. And it them. <laughs> the oh, man, to the ball. Hey, you, you, you try something there. I got a block shed with Malik Collins. Wow. <laughs> of all the people. Definitely send again, bro. I'm off tomorrow. I, mean, I can play late. I'm gonna play you for real. I'm gonna add in my real shit. 
Throwing is Brady on third down. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh. <laughs> oh, I almost had a catch animation. Oh, <laughs> I almost got the catch animation. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. Airing this one out for Evans. <laughs> I speared him. <laughs> I gotta stop doing it on defense, bro. I keep going, trying to do it like I'm on offense. Going for the catch animation. Before I learned that tip, bro, I was not able to do that. Mike yeah, but you can. Yo, like, but see, I was on, I was on him, but um. I'm gonna kind of look at some of these highlights, the main ones. Yeah. I can't look at the ones with Russ because you fucking quadruple covering that man. God damn, trying to fucking lab some shit, so I have to take him out just so I can get some fucking footage to look at. Man, no, no, I gotta look at my stuff. I'll be back. All right. I put Keelan Dawson. All right. Keelan Doss, hold R, you hold R1. As soon as the ball's in the air, you tap your catch animation and you hold R1. You catch all of them, bro. Like, he can be... Damn, they, they don't have a lot of... Damn, most of these I didn't even get highlights for, bro. Like, fuck. Yeah, dude, glitched out. Keelan Doss. Oh, look, Keelan's pretty... Pretty dope in the red zone. I might use him. Man, I ain't getting no highlights, bro. Fuck. I'm gonna play you again, bro. I'm gonna start all my bum receivers. I'm gonna go see who has all the catch animations. Cause that's gonna be the key. You gotta have an you, you guy gotta have the traits, you know? You don't got the traits, you're probably not gonna win. So you wanna make sure you got in you guys they got all the catch animation traits. find out who my guys is. I need to memorize this shit. Let's see who has. He only has rack. I, I was able to get some aggressive, but he's mainly rack. So that'd be Tyro. Baller has everything except possession. Zay has everything except possession. So be Zay. Renfro has all that shit. Not fast though. Keelan has all of it. So it's Zay, Keelan, Renfro, Williams. Yeah, we've got that drop open ball, so I don't I don't want to use that. He yeah, has everything except aggressive. Jason Witten got all that shit. Plus more about everything except sideline catches. He drops the ball. Let me know when you ready, my dude. I'm on bench rugs. I'm gonna prove to y'all, man. I'm not all about. I mean, he nice. Don't get me wrong. I like him. He nice. But I don't need him to win. You know, I put I put Keelan Dawson as my number one. 
and then keep Waller in there because Waller Waller's walls. I think that's gonna be it. Really. Doss, Williams, Zay, Renfro, Walls. So we're gonna start Keelan Doss over Henry Ruggs. And he's more of really what Tyrell's supposed to be. So I might I'm gonna switch them. Because my my Z receiver needs to be my body. My big boy. I can't have him running all the deep route combos. He's gonna be my go-to target. He got all the catch animations. I mean folks, you know, willing to do that. Let's see. I'll actually play a game like that. If this man don't hurt. I'm gonna play a ranked game without ropes. Can it be done? Unless you're gonna come back. You there? Like, are you there there or? Yeah, I'm here here. Are you gonna send? Mm -hmm. I got I got my boy already set in so. Play you without using Henry Ruggs. Mosdell, Mosdell. Cause see now you don't know who's getting the ball. <laughs> guess. Just don't guess wrong. Because all the receivers I have on the field have all the catch animations. What are you doing? Getty, this shit was hitting. Got enough to probably eat for the next three days, four days maybe. on EA Sports and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. Ah, hey, game ball first. Big ship and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. Takes this about five yards deep. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Oh, Doss with the block. I love it. Already. Tackle That's now. What he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive and <laughs> you should know better than that. 
They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr. Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. To throw his car. This will be caught at about the 6. And he's able to get this down to the 5-yard line before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just 4, second down. Deciding to take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. This opening drive has taken them to the two, but now they come up on a third and goal. From the gun, it's called. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. But here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. Looking to throw on second down. Brady. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Tanner Muse there defensively. Second and five now. Brady, and that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. motion before the snap and this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings start penalty and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down working from the gun it's Brady and he gets this inside the 35 yard line give him 14 on that one and a first down from the gun it's Brady Oh, and knocked him off his route. <laughs> his intended target. And now it's second down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Brady will try again on second down. Oh! And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden, it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying, 
No more. We're still going to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it, third and ten. Ready to throw again. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Oh, why do I keep doing that on defense? No. Fuck. Oh, man. Fuck that. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Then he is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards and it gives him a first and goal. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Again, it's Brady. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. A lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Go, we ain't got rugs. The Raider offense set to get this can't spam over the top the covers on me no more. Time, it led to the opening touchdown, so now seven nothing to score as they start oh, first and ten. It. Now a dump off here complete, oh, and he's going to be brought bad. down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Here's a pass oh swung God. out left to his running back. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Six mm. yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Carr. Bro. Into a double team and it's intercepted. They need to start calling P.I. Pass the 20. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house. It's like you're you're hitting that guy, and they're not calling. Like, yeah, but they still though. Five, after five yards, they still don't call it. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Oh my God, bro. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. set to get this drive started and they just had that pick six I guess the only positive maybe they're returning that for a touchdown this offense right had a jump it too early here this half, it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it and this one will be brought back to the 22 so that is three interceptions now in this first half and you hate to ask the question but you know, let's be honest we're thinking about it do you need to go in a different direction next series 
Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things. Oh, no. oh my God. I need to stop doing that. Fuck. No. I'm so used to doing that shit on offense now. Brady gives this one off to Jones. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Shotgun now for Brady. They'll find Miller. That's complete. Get the ball. What the fuck was that, bro? And partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but man, just in general, those laterals no, can be do so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. I'm just laughing these catches, bro. See if I can master it. Because we've had a lot of practices. It's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. I had other routes. I just... <laughs> I'm just, I was like, I didn't want to throw it. Because they were going to give me the throw out of sack animation. I was like, well. Another try after the first down sack. Okay, there, right, here we go. Looking left side and it's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Two minutes. We'll send you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Look at that! Completes it and brought oh, down, but not before, before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And oh, look at that! A diving catch. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. throw again yeah, he's got it and the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points good yardage on first down now can they punt that he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown Josh Jacobs taking it in and the Raiders have cut it back to within a score yeah, yeah, you heard it, right? <laughs> exhale. Yeah, the exhale, and I'm taking that from their bench because finally, right before the half, they find a way to get the ball in the end zone and get, get some points on the board. Maybe they can use that to kickstart them for the second half. Yeah, just to get something before going into the lockers. And now in the second half, they can just tighten. It's what they want. Got him. Tighten down everything they're doing. Too aggressive, bro. At the right time. Okay. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. It's the correct call. Throwing now is Carr. And he's Bruh. got it for the... <laughs> so take on the <laughs> I love it already, bro. <laughs> Tip it right to my guy. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. 
This will be fielded inside the five. And able to get this out to the 25. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself something to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and they take it downfield and punch it in on you. That's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. God. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Brady. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin as the first half is winding down. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there. I can't wait till I give me a fucking quarterback and throw fucking passes like that. Carr can't throw those switch routes like that. He always has to take the inside. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Taking it about the one. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. set to get this drive started and from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it and i think in this situation that's the proper play but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out Complete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. The final shot here for half for Carr. And this will be, Must be nice. One second left to go. <laughs> Block shares like that for for no effort. <laughs> Must be nice. Jesus. Hey man, it's been a long time coming, bro. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletion. No effort. The final shot Look at just break. Car. And he's gonna go I even slid protect that way. Throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of this first Welcome half of play. Good work. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready That's for the road back in. Number three. Now nah, he rocks. The Bucks with the lead and I like say I'm just trying to lab and catch his bro. From the 10. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10 yard line. Hard to laugh when you just <laughs> fucking just little bump sending blitzes like that shit. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's the 
what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Throwing on first down is Brady. Mm -hmm. Looking for Godwin, and he's got it complete. Mm -hmm. And he'll take us to the tip. other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one goes for 30 yards. Operating from the gun, Brady has complete to his running back Evans. And he'll take it down shy of 45 at the 46. That catch good for only a couple. Throwing again on second down. Brady to Evans on the slam. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 29-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Brady now on first down. Looking oh, for Evans, and it's intercepted. No one's on it. With it. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately... They go Keelan Doss? And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Yeah, man, I'd just be laughing and shit, bro, for real. for the Raiders as they come up first and ten right at the 50-yard line. Now after the INT... Look at... Oh! We tried it, bro. I, I think the only thing that's killing him, bro, he's a low overall, man. He would have got that. From midfield, here's Carr. Flush to his right. Don't be a hero. And he's going to keep it here. And now the ball's out from midfield. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And that play just looked a little helter skelter from the start. EA on that plus shit. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it. He did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down the defense. But you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there. Someone always trying to get to the football. Try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. Evans has it left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards 222 on the clock. Brady going to throw. And a tight end wide open. Up top for the end oh. zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Read it well and it's Probably, you, know, you had a tight end wide open. Oh, I looked at that. And say, what's going on with your scheme? Do, Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got I'm, I'm trying to laugh now. with Keelan Dog, bro. Like Keelan getting some catch animations. He just <laughs> low, low overall, man. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking block everybody like when you're down. Because you're exactly right, that, don't you? All game long. Oh! Moving the ball, nice. turning it over on the Keelan, <laughs> let's go! Symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> man, he breaking tackles. Man. I gotta draw some plays up for this guy, man. The 40 yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Car down a throw. Just. Sending the entire team after me. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 30. And the return this time will go out to the 42 yard line. <sighs> that throw Charles over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Working from the gun, 
it's Brady. Here we go. And Brady gonna be intercepted oh a third time. It's David Arnett picking it off. Okay. You're laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Yeah, you need threw it five yards short. Do a bullet pass. Set to get this drive started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, "All right, guys." Woo! And the rack catch with the rack. Let's go. Get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them, not necessarily to look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Woo! Killing! Don't let the 67 overall ball, ball out. Don't let the 67 overall ball out. He replacing rugs. And man, balling. This man balling. Let's go. 67 overall. Yeah, it's Justin. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Now, car again. I throw a pick. Oh, he caught it. Let's go. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's gonna be look at that, bro. Doss is my new fucking X receiver, bro. Dead ass. So they get the score still down, but bottom line is they kept themselves in the game. So they did keep hope alive, Brandon. That's exactly I literally what they called man that they've got to deliver and years. finish things oh, off. All right, now a big two point conversion attempt still to come. Again, they'll throw the car. Thank you. And it's intercepted. They gave me that inaccurate banner. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. It's interesting that when it comes to two point conversions, even heavy and now you're just gonna put your whole team on a 67 overall. Is it that bad, bro? <laughs> and a good effort on the return there gets him across the 30 up to the 33. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really, with the four-minute offense, this is just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Low overall. And yeah, they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A game there of 30 big ones. here on first and ten. A quick throw by Brady complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Inside the red zone. Oh, you gotta go for the pick! And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away. Fuck. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. They'll try and run some good fucking shit, Abram. And a good job by the Raider defense yet again as they drop him for a second straight loss. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Brady gonna fake the give to Jones and set up the throw. Good beat. Finds Howard complete. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. 
fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so it's Yo, fucking Keelan Dawson back. balling out they're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life and the 11 year veteran bangs it through mm. and that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10 a big one there that gives him a yo I kind of hope he may he stays on the team for next year like he probably won't make the, the roster cut if he can make the practice squad or something man stay on the game be a nice little something to have you getting some nice like nice nice catch animations The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And that is what? intercepted. Oh or was it? God. Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Play action. Now it's Carr. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll find Moreau here. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Back to throw. Carr. Low balled it. This is intercepted. And that should do it. <sighs> Picked up by Levante David. That he's able to get it back to the 33 yard line. The interception. You gotta stop doing that because you'd be trying to flood the box. At this point, you gotta be thinking is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Bro. Oh, yes. You're getting hit. Pretty shit. You're getting hit. He's there too early, it's gonna be a you getting hit. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. That shit should not slow me down, bro. If, I, if I'm user in that. But they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Brady to throw. Fade him, fade him, fade him. I think he's open. It's caught, Jones, and he's going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. Brady going to look to throw. It's good deep. The end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I don't know. I think I like Keelan Dawson. Keelan makes some nice. Completion on first down leads to a second and ten. Back to throw, Brady. Look at that. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. It's David Arnett picking it off. Ah! Yes! <laughs> and that will write a finish to this ball game. So. Yeah, I wasn't gonna win anyway. It was fun though. <laughs> I like Tampa too, bro. Like how I run Tampa too. That's just pretty nice. I get a lot of turnover with it. I want to go this motherfucking Keelan Boss. Where's his stats at? That boy had eight catches on you, bro. What up? Hey y'all. I think I'm getting good with this shit, man. Fucking a 67 overall against the fucking Bucks defense. I mean, eight catches. He only had one drop. 
And he's averaging 16 yards per catch. So, I mean, he's keeping up with the elite receivers. And that's with it. That's playing without rugs. What up, Vecco? I'm, I'm sorry. I was kind of <laughs> trying to lab these catches, man. All right, let's play a game without fucking zone blitzing or blitz spamming. Let's just play stock coverage, all right? I'm trying to lab these. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to lab these catches, man. Like I can't lab it with it's just a blitz spam. If you would like for me to play with a different team, I would. No, no, I don't want. I want. I want you to play with your team. I just want to lab the catches. Just don't blitz spam. No, man. No. Yeah. yeah. I want your I team. I don't have to blitz spam if I play with Washington, bro, because I got a good D line. This guy. Uh, what? I'm trying to help you, bro. Uh -uh. I want the bucks. Cause your shit's already set up with don't. It doesn't matter. I know how to set up all these other people, bro. That's fine. I'll play. play I'll play. I'll play stock coverage. You play stock coverage. Who you want me so to play you, with, bro? Play. Play your team. I just want to lab these you catches. The no. The play. Play with your team, bro. I just want you to lab. You, like, do you want to lab these catches or no? I'm good, bro. I don't have to. Cause I got to get out of the tendency of doing this shit on defense. That's I'll what's... tell you what. We'll randomize it. I'll do it three times. Whatever it lands on, it's a team I gotta play with. Really? You're doing yeah. too much. One. Here, I pick your team for you, man. Play with the Bucks. Two. And Bucks. Three. Play with the Falcons. Too many. That's Look at this shit here. I still can't win a Super Bowl. How many jerseys they got? A, a, a lot. I only got like five. How they got it, man? Got That's unfair. They got all these teams that got all black. Raiders don't even have an all black. That's fucked up. This is the, the type of shit I remember when I was a kid before they had Mike Vick with that old school shit. <laughs> they don't even wear all them jerseys, bro. Like. Last time I played with a damn Falcons, I think it was 17. They got speed, bro. They got some goddamn speed, I tell you that. They got some fast linebackers. Grady's yeah, a fucking glitch. Grady's got the fucking ability. Grady Garrett, whatever. Yeah, I know. They're one of those, like, hidden gem teams. And then on offense, you got Julio and Ridley, both superstar receivers. Matt Ryan has a fucking ability that's just cheese. EA Sports coverage of the national surprised a lot of people don't the use him. I think it's something to do with his play fake or some. He has one of the best play action animations. Like shit really sells the run. Surprise! I mean, even the people that play with the Falcons, they don't even utilize that man's ability. the 20 at about the 21 yard
first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night. Oh, my God. No, it did. Oh, my God. Save that. Save that, PlayStation. Save that. Save it. 68 yards. And the Falcons have Took taken a bad the angle. Lead. And let me do the fucking the, the trucking well, glitch the game, after they got the it right Watch now. This. Two plays. I didn't hit it at all this whole time. I think of it in so boxing terms. Off, because off, whether it's a big yeah. shot with your first one or a probing one, so a little bit of a jab, the second easy. one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, and so. Oh my god. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's good. And They're a good team, bro. Matt Ryan's a good quarterback. They got receivers. They got a good tight end. Uh, Falcons. Falcons are good, bro. They got their defenses. They got a lot of speed on defense. This will make it into the end zone. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. I hate playing this game with a lot of it. Car and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25 yard line. To throw its car. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. To throw again on second down. Car. So and that hit stick was that. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Good hang on third down. Team. Charles already yeah. trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They do go for it. It's Carr. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Carr finds Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give them 12 yards that time. And a Las Vegas first. Now Josh Jacobs, who won a national title with Alabama on this field. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one 28 yards on the ground. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Nowhere to turn this time. Goes down. Sack back at the 29. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Down sack. Car. Mm, couldn't jump high enough. 
Had the animation though. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Go ahead and look at the replay. How about the discipline that they showed on the Yeah, you just couldn't jump high enough. After the offense scored to go up 7 zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And he is met. Four jump rugs don't always come down with them. I'm not going to be able to throw any high point passes. Quick hike to me, I was trying to find my user. set to get this drive started and there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate of course they'd like to forget the ending the interception but they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field yeah and unfortunately for them the only thing that matters is part two right because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive that does them no good to go back and say well you know we had a good one going finish things off that's the only way you can get it done Looking to throw again on second oh. down. Carr, oh. wide oh. open receiver complete. Oh. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Throw again and lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly 
picked. Second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Oh, why? To throw again. Carr. going to be good for another first down as the tackles made it trying to lab against the deep zone and you just blitz spam it Ugh. Las Vegas first from the 32 now here's first and 10 again it's car firing quickly here and that's complete man dogs over there following a gain of 6 Second down, Carr got a man and he hits him in stride. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 14. From the red zone now, they'll look to... Look at that man! I'm tired as fuck. Well. Shit. Score. <laughs> he got fatigued. He picked nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost. And that's that, a good you know. thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. So yeah. now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. From the gun, it's Carr. Escaping the pressure right. And unable to connect. They don't get the two points. Try to high point it. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, I said to it, Bob. Two-point conversion as far as how you're defending. Oh. You just make sure you never back up and you yeah, never retreat. Right you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, it's gameplay man coverage on them. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And mid out of it. Oh, what? On first and ten, it's Ryan. Side, it's complete. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. Now he may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. On second and nine, Ryan. He's going to air one out. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Forced out to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. Oh, heavy I'm swatting with my user again. I need to stop. 
get out of the habit. It's a bad habit. Not the best of plays here as a quarterback. You're right handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to like, get the car keys out uh, of your pocket with your opposite ball. hand while you're trying to run. Yeah, well, yeah two routes in the it. same spot of the field, so. Now after the INT, it's Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Two yeah, times. Mine is 67 overall. So. That was nice work there defensively. Should have went. Now, even though this drive started possession. in the territory, there's still not field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And he's going to be hit and taken Now you're just going to try to use her. <laughs> oh, this is mad. I'm doing the most. Position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, no, it speaks points. volumes when you try to use her a 67 overall receiver. <laughs> you scared of that man? Hell, I should have went possession. Yeah, I'm trying to lab this shit with this man. I don't, I don't care. Uh, I don't need to rely on that. It's the point of labbing. It's not relying on superstars. Him with a sack and it goes as a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. The Raiders got to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Looks like Ryan's going to stay out there. Indeed, they're going to try for this on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. And he completes this to Russell Gage. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. Throw on first down with Ryan. And this is incomplete oh. with a clock showing just three. <laughs> Perfect timing on that hit. Normally I get hit with the PI. And that'll bring up second down. So three seconds here remain in the half. On it's the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this from 46. And that'll do it for the end of the Probably season. ain't labbing go for this it, plays. Situational, Welcome man. Anybody can kick a field goal. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action this taken in about four yards deep and the half will begin with a touchback I'm going to have to allow some of these guns I'm going to let you chase that man you're going to be a decoy you're going to put somebody else in it
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. See if they can pick themselves up off the net. Looking for Aguilar, and it's yeah. intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. round pick the intended target but now it's third down off the play fake here's Ryan and this is caught for a Falcon touchdown Russell Gage there to make the grab and the Falcons use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six and they're able to up the lead by one more Following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. And then, like, listen to some old school songs, bro. Offense set to get this drive started. Now, last time was it pretty? One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. A well executed 22 yard gain. physical play on the football there and it's second down we saw this a lot in the first half and it continues these receivers just not able to get much separation so that means they have to win the 50 50 balls they've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them and this time contact and another incomplete pass Atlanta, Georgia is the spot, and glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action, second and ten. Throwing again, Carr. That's stop throwing bullets. He's killing me. By Demonte Kazin, and his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, and have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. I keep going for that SWAT animation, bro. Fuck. Bro, that is two plays this game. And the Falcons that turn that interception into a touchdown. Oh, Cause I keep going for that SWAT animation. I need to be so hard to complete a diving. Yeah, but it's fucking me up on defense. <laughs> I keep using it on defense. Bad habit. Nah, I was supposed to pick it, but 
I'm so I'm trying to lab this shit to on offense, but my muscle memory is fucking me up on defense. I hear you, my man, but that was just nasty. That has got to be one of the sickest dive catches I've ever got in my head, bro. How many people you got watching right now? Um, uh, like seven. I'm surprised the chat room ain't going fucking nuts right now after that. Nah. Notice I ain't running the ball, man. I'm just labbing passes. And then you trying to fucking, you trying to. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be realistic. Let's just fucking do it online. Well, I mean, you gotta get your reps. You know. Join me in a walk to their locker room at the half. Okay, because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming. Wake up. Let's get moving, guys. I'm pretty glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> you think he might have turned it on us too? Yeah, but right now whatever was said hasn't been working. So from the 36 now, first and ten. Card out of throw. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Carnell on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. Oh, man. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. It's hard to lab against Blitz down. Jesus. Brings him up second and ten. I didn't put a touch on that. I got lob it or something. No tiny is sticker. Tom Gurley with his second touchdown of the night. And the Falcons use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Dan Quinn's told his offense, let's try and get two more. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And this oh is going to be caught. I'm not sure about the need to go for two, but they get it. Julio and his ability. Trigger. Doesn't he have an ability where he gets like increased um, accuracy thrown to him in the red zone? I think he does. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. Du, 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 du. All right, I'm gonna come out of base defense. I'm doing four three normal. I'm gonna do Tampa two. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game. I mean, just just use like play like a you know. Whatever, just don't blitz so much. I'm trying to lab these catches. I'm lab catches against blitzes to you know, panic. Yeah, you talk about they probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone And my goodness, another I can I can get the user on. Then let me switch. And his guys will take over at their own 44 yard line. Uh, and, and am I seeing this correctly? They brought out the field goal team here on first down. 
And supreme confidence in the kicker turns to supreme bounced in. failure. That is obviously <laughs> no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Yo, really? <laughs> like, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was that? This what was that basketball shit that we got? I'm not sure what to say about that one. one. Yeah, you I don't know, even know. You remember that, though, right? You used to be on Spike TV back in the day when you were younger. They did the, the what now? There used to be a uh, basketball league where dudes would jump on the scrimmage. And one. Slam ball. That's what it was called. Slam ball. Trying to shake off the interception he looked to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Another throw there off the mark. And obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question. And my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what. You keep throwing the football with confidence. <laughs> I think that dude got like a 13 catches. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Oh! on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. Oh, nine catches. Bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him... He's got second and third down to fall back up. Back to the air on second. Wow. How is that a fumble, bro? He's on the ground. I can't even challenge it either. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. He was down. You know there's gonna be some traffic. Bro, he's on the Bro, he's down! Wow, yay. Wow, like they've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, that. I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rear view mirror, don't they? I mean you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points. It's almost a yeah, Rob. to create that distance and they're on a really oh, big time yeah. right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. Ooh. And that one's not going to get It there. bounces in again. An ambitious effort, <laughs> but it's well short. Back now in Atlanta. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. All right, so you're killing me cover four palms. Let's see how you do this. Throwing on first down is Carr. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. They'll roll him out right. Catch made, it's Moreau. Ooh. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Bullet. I gotta stop throwing bullet passes. That's another thing I need to get reps at. See this defense, man. At this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter, no, no. The thing is, I do tend to throw a lot of bullet passes. I gotta get out of that tendency. Because the ball trajectory. Set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line, and after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Well, that gives them a little. Why he falls for? 
<laughs> like really <laughs> Shit, bro, I am killing myself. Bro, that look like Sunday afternoon. Nah, I keep doing that fucking SWAT thing thinking I'm on offense. A fucking bad tendency. See, look. Yeah, I see it. I gotta get, like, it's good that I'm doing it, but I'm, I can't be doing it on defense. I gotta get that out of my muscle memory. That's gonna fuck my user and up in the fucking regs if I, if I don't get out of that habit. Now Ryan leading the Falcons up to go for two. Again, Ryan. And they don't get it. They tried for the two point conversion there, but unsuccessful. <laughs> I had X wide open. Team for the Raiders able to secure it. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And here's a good way to kick off the drive complete over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A Raider first down, 17 yards. Now Carr. Oh. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Carl try it again on second down. Ooh, yeah. And now here's another Ooh. interception. Picked up by A.J. Terrell. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game. But... Now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. <laughs> That's going to go down as a loss of nine. On the first <laughs> I want to get the easy guy a chance, man. Oh, man. And look at this. The punt team is out punt there. Punt fake. <laughs> so give them the memo that it's second down. And that'll skip out of bounds inside the 20 at the 17 yard line. I need to use DOS on the. Um, the shotgun more. Let's go with the 6 Denver, that big nickel. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said oh, to no, everyone, he, 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 I want he, all right. executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. To him for real, like in the actual game. Get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better if we go forward. 
target yet again. It's complete. And I break the record. The gonna use one of their I mean, I got 15 catches. <laughs> 67 <laughs> overall. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. He's going to let it fly. Oh. Got it. Exercise and futility right now. Still down big. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone. So give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. And now once again, they'll line up to go for two. Again, it's Carr. Oh, oh! I almost got the animation. I should have put Waller back there. Waller back there. Nah, Prim, I'm labbing. With, I'm not using uh, rugs. I'm just labbing with um, Keelan Doss. On third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. To throw again is Ryan. Flush to his right. And they let that man get separation. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. Throwing again. Ryan. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Uh, how many <laughs> how many catches did I get with that 67 overall receiver? Fifteen catches. With a 57 overall. I mean, granted, yes, I was spamming to him, so I did throw a lot of picks. Had a lot of yards in 239, averaging 15 yards a catch. Fifteen catches, one drop. That's good. You both know that that drop should have been happening. Uh, let, me, let me go back and look at the highlights. Oh, yeah, the drop was the fucking, the fucking fumble. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, see, some of his shit didn't even make highlights. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, there was no highlights in the first half. It was fourth and 19. They said I didn't. I don't know. I was making some beautiful turnaround. Look at the timing of this 
For him to be a 67 overall, he good reaction time with that R1 trick. Mm -hmm. He just turns around, uses his body. I didn't really score a lot of points, but I did excel spamming to him. But he made some big plays. Seven overall, nice ball. Now you have more highlights than I did. <laughs> some shit. Man, I had some crazy shit that game, bro. Nah, some... I might start fucking these five here, man. To the end of uh, one. Yeah, some of these highlights didn't even record properly. Uh, I'm I gotta find some formations to use them though. Cause I like I like his catches that he gets us. Definitely a nice change of pace. Alright, my boy. We'll go ahead and call it a night. Most of, most of, most of. I needed that labbing. I just got to get out of that habit. Don't pull it past. And just remember not to hit R1 whenever you're defending, bro. You should be straight. Yeah, that's just, you know, like when I lab something, like, by myself, like, for two hours straight, I basically changed my muscle memory. <laughs> so now it's like on offense and defense where I'm using it like it's great on offense I just got to get out of the habit of doing it on defense and probably use L1 so I got to lab that shit probably tomorrow but that's definitely something that y'all fellas I know you know I was just labbing so don't take it serious on me Fucking get d destroyed like yeah, that. Yeah, I think that was a serious game, bro. Nah, serious <laughs> game. I'm definitely running the ball, and I'm con like a I'm controlling. You know, that if I'm just passing the whole game, bro, I'm laughing. Cause I'm trying to get shit down. Cause I already know how to attack coverages. It's it's not that I'm trying to get these catches. These animation catches, that's going to be the new wave. Because if I can get these things now, bro, win those one-on-ones, never have to worry about fucking tip balls again. You? That shit's mm. like, it's like a cheat code. I like it. Yeah. You get in there, you fucking hold a button, and then you actually catch the ball. That's why I follow, uh, I follow old boy, because not a lot of people know about it. Yeah, most people get them tip, tip, tip. Shit, fuck that. I'm holding R1 for my life. <laughs> Catch the ball. All right, All right man. Sometime tomorrow afternoon, I just gotta run a couple errands and I'll be available. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping, like, trying to see if I'm gonna have anybody next year. He said, "What well, we're gonna have? Sneed, right?" Let me yeah, see, is, 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 is Sneed any good? Right. He's 5'11", 205. He got acceleration, he got 77 break tackle. Interesting. Can't, he ain't got good change of direction. Can't truck. Is he just like elusive? He ain't got no spin move. He got a half ass juke. So you can just run routes and catch the ball. That's it. <sighs> Not my cup of tea. I need a lab with what's his name? I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm a little tired. I'll probably be on it again in the morning, man. Probably play anybody want to play. I'm definitely gonna lab some of these uh, catch animations. Catch y'all tomorrow, fellas. Good night. Y'all be safe.